I have a confession. I've never seen Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. Uh, until recently, until recently. But for like the entire duration of this thing existing from like the early 2010s to like a week ago, I've never seen it. I've heard of it, but I've never seen it. And then a bunch of folks hit me up on Twitter saying like, hey, uh, did you watch the new series? Did you watch the new show? What'd you think? And I'm like, wait, who, the, the puppets? The, the, the guys from YouTube with the songs? Uh, they got a show? I don't know, what's going on? And I decided, to uh, f around and find out. Now, <laughs> this is cute. Clouds in the sky, don't you find Isn't it? No. I get it. It's kind of like oh. being satirical. No. It's like Barney. It's it's like instructional. Yeah. Well, like this. Might need this type of down. kids show. Wait, what? Ha wait, what happened? Why? What? Here we go. So, this isn't so bad at all, actually. I thought it'd be a lot darker. No, I love this. It's just so this isn't dark. It's just weird. Um. Wait. What? Ew. Ew. Oh yeah. Very hard. Ew. Ew. <laughs> okay. It's almost over. You have to <laughs> why, like why go. Are you, why'd you all f why'd with you me? No, 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 seriously. You you guys, no, seriously, finish. it's bullshit. You all lied to me. I thought this was cute. Everybody betrayed me. I fed up with this world. But before I tap into my existential dread, I want to give a quick shout out to this video sponsor, Scent Bird. I, I gotta smell good before my corpse is dropped into my coffin. Like I could afford a coffin. That stuff is bougie, right? Just throw me in the trash. So for those who don't know, Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service with a mission to empower each and every person to express themselves through scent. Uh, for me, I express myself through scent by shooting myself in the eye, cause I'm dumb. But hey, at least I smell good. For this month, I got three fragrances. Room 1015 Electric Wood, uh, Vince Camuto Home Intenso, <laughs> my casting a Harry Potter spell, and Dark Woods. For Electric Wood, the smell is a nice, bold, nutty vibe, while Intenso is more citrusy with cinnamon. And then you got Dark Woods with the bold-esque smell, with notes of coffee. Or at least to me, that's what my snaz detects. And I'll be real, I love all three. But Dark Woods, that's my favorite. Scentbird lets you choose a new designer fragrance to try every month for just $17. You get to pick your options so there are no surprises. And they also feature plenty of perfume and cologne with unisex options. With each fragrance, you'll get a 30-day supply so you can try out fragrances before committing to a full-size bottle. Yeah, I'm gonna be smelling good at my next family event. Drop the bucket of chicken. So use my coupon code SABERSPARK for 55% off at Simpbird. It's just a little over $7 for your first month. Available in the US of A and Canada. Link in the description down below. And now I'm going to smell good for my fellow freaks. Ow! My hand! You're right. What did you say to me? Now, as far as like what I could recall about this series, I've seen some fan art on Tumblr and Twitter back in the day. I know of like this one song, cause I was like in a car ride in the mid 2010s and it was like 2017. And a friend of mine and his sister were singing like creative colors, like green is not a creative color. That's all I could recall was that line and like some chaotic little dance with the yellow guy. I find it funny cause I was asked like, hey, what are the name of the characters? Just guess. And I was like, I don't know, yellow guy, red guy, and a duck. And, and they were like, oh, um, you cheated. I'm like, what? I guess, I, I guessed right. It's, it's very just upfront that way. So it's, it's mm -hmm. yellow guy, duck, and red dude. People told you, didn't they? <laughs> is, it, is it actually in their names? It's red guy, I yellow guy, and duck. Are you actually, You're no. Pretty I'm, on point. Wow. Are you serious? I guess. There's no way you, well, I was about to no. say, there's no way you bullshit that, but like, it's pretty, I mean. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I'm actually beside myself if that's the truth. Yeah, it Ye is. Red guy, red yellow guy, guy. yellow guy, and duck. No. <laughs> what? Nice. But for those who don't know, Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared, an extraordinarily popular YouTube like, series, a web series. And it was created by Baker Terry, Joe Pelling, and Becky Sloan. And the three truly made something exceptionally amazing. I know I'm not the first to comment on this series. As a matter of fact, I might be one of the last, but I get it now. I understand why this series was so popular on YouTube because it is down 
right? Genius. It's dark. It's brutal. It's surreal. It's absurd. It's chaotic. It's existential dread to the nth degree. The episode on the web series on YouTube about time was messing with me. I was like, oh, it's it's too much. It's too much to comprehend. Where does time start? Does it end? Where what, what happens? What's infinity? What's ah? And even the absurdity of the characters melting and dying and screaming, it's kind of therapeutic to be like, these are things we can't really quite comprehend. So let's take these, what look like innocuous puppets, that something's off, you know? You look at these characters, it's like, oh, is it Teletubbies? Is it the Muppets? It's puppets and a guy in a red suit, so maybe it's a child show. No, it's not, not by any means. It's not for kids, but it's got this allure to it where it's like, kind of this um, false sense of security of the characters. Oh, they look cute, but something's off. And then it just snowballs throughout the entire episode, be the web series or the recently released TV series. So yes, it was a bit of a crash course for me to see the lives of Red Guy and Yellow Guy and Duck and all the chaos they suffered on the web series and then continue to suffer on the TV series, which aired on Channel 4. Uh, Channel 4 is a British television network, a great British baking show. Ooh, Paul Hollywood giving Red Guy a handshake. But it, it's, it's British is what I'm trying to say. It's got that British sense of humor as well. A lot more like almost kind of esoteric in a way, but uh, still British. Uh, the voices are British. I, I love that Red Guy sounds like I hate everything, kind of. It's not him, but it sounds like him. The voice acting's great. And I gotta say, I really appreciate how they bring you in with this episode about time. This one's about death. This one's about electricity for the TV show, or this one's about the internet for one of the web series. They hit these topics and then they just unleash on you from a narrative point of view with the themes, the tones, the way they present this from the Muppets to people wearing costumes, to claymation, stop motion. It's brilliant how many different visual mediums they hit up. And I remember being told that the folks who made Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared, that they did some, I think, puppet work for an episode of Gumball, which is pretty cool, because Gumball is also British, and also does a mixed media, like as far as visual presentations go for itself. It makes sense for them to team up. And I gotta say, also, like this is very much so, I was gonna say an acquired taste, not that necessarily, but like this is a particular brand of humor with how absurd it is, how how irreverent and cynical and existential. It's not for everyone. I'm sure there are folks who would watch this and go like, oh no, this is too much. I don't get it. Well, for me, I'm like, I'm laughing my ass off, especially with how it can go a million miles a second and then halt silence and then like a character will talk and they just cut them off and proceed with a song all over again. I love that. It's like you buckle up for dear life, but the truth of the matter is you're gonna die. So enjoy the ride anyway, right? So it was quite, again, the trial by fire for me to watch on my Twitch stream all of the web series, but I loved it. I absolutely loved it. Very catchy songs. The, the music is insanely catchy and so unique too. And I feel like they, they, you've got some bullet points of what makes Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared unique. But at the same time, they're always shaping the clay along the way where it doesn't feel derivative, where you know it's gonna be absurd and chaotic, but in different ways and with different topics. And Yellow Guy seems to be the kind of dumb guy who's just strapped in for dear life. Red Guy's kind of quiet, not quiet, but a bit more indifferent. It seems like he doesn't suffer nearly as much as Yellow Guy, though all the three characters suffer. And then there's Duck, Duck's my favorite. I love how observant he is and kind of complains about things, especially in the show where he's like, this is stupid, or that doesn't make sense. There was a line in the show where he's like, well, we're a family because we all have the same lawyer. And I'm like, <laughs> why is that funny? That shouldn't be funny, but it is. Uh, Yellow Guy in the, in the first episode, because the first episode in the series was about work and getting jobs and yellow guy is working like as like a janitor or something in the bathroom and this urinal comes to life a lot of the inanimate objects just come to life that's like a constant and just left the scene we follow him go outside to smoke comes back in and yellow guy's still talking about his job like he's talking to a camera when there's nothing there i thought that was funny just how no one cared we just walked off and, and the show is not afraid to make these uh very bold decisions of like it we're doing this now and i think that's one of the most important reasons of why it's so successful and so brilliant. It keeps me guessing and on my toes, and I love it. And there's some really like horrendous looking scenes. I say horrendous as in like blood, guts, violence, people losing limbs. There's a camera that zoomed in on Red Guy where it went down to like the very fiber of his DNA and its very essence. Cerebral stuff like that, where it gets pretty in depth with like, what is the human experience through Muppets and puppets and, and, and 
stop motion and, and people wearing outfits to take a kid's show that's so innocuous in its initial appearance. Because you can probably show a poster of Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared to some parents who know nothing about it. And like, oh, it's a kid's show. Oh, no, run for your lives. Your kids will be warped and then they'll be one of us. Now, my biggest concern though, going from the web series to the actual show on Channel 4, which by the way, Channel 4 has its own website, of course. You can access that, so make an account, watch the episodes. I do, of course, encourage folks to support the creators because they went out on a limb to make genuine art. So Channel 4, just keep that in mind. But the episodes are 22 minutes long. So it's longer form content compared to the web series for YouTube, where it was a lot more focused. The song seemed to have a lot more of a footstep and a backbone for the videos on YouTube, while for the series, music is there. It's involved, but it's more character driven with them caring about their day and their story. We're like episode two, it's about death. And I thought, okay, it's we're relying more on the characters and dialogue now versus in the web series, it's more of a song, hold on for dear life, we're going. And the characters just kind of go along with it. This is a bit different, but the pacing, I, I, I thought it was just fine. I was laughing out loud multiple times from the dialogue too. Like there was one moment where Duck's like, attention freaks, it's me. Who says that? What, what bizarre lines of dialogue? Or unemployed Brendan just getting pissed off. He's like, why are you calling me that? <laughs> Punches the wall. They aren't afraid to take leaps of faith with their chaotic humor. And yet the most important thing of all, I've realized, is how they walked the uh, line here so perfectly. Because when it comes to absurd humor and cerebral stuff that's abstract and chaotic, it can be pretentious if not done right. They kept it grounded. They're able to fall back on their own brand of humor and writing and were able to hold my attention the entire way through where I never felt too existential, uh, well, sometimes in the web series and a little bit in the TV series, but I was following along with these episodes. I was invested and I had fun and it felt like it was transformative compared to the web series that it enhanced it with the 22 minute long episodes without detracting anything either. So they stuck the landing. I loved it. Well done. So overall, I highly recommend Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared, both the YouTube videos and also, of course, the actual show itself. They've been in the works for years now. I think it paid off handsomely and I hope to see more. But at the same time, if this is it, I'm okay with that too. Uh, it's able to hold its head high and say, we did our thing, we made our voices heard and we did it in our own unique way the end curtain call. But hey, if they also make more, I will gladly watch it too, because I think they could absolutely hit up a lot more topics and just go ham on it. So yeah, that's all I have to say about Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. What did you all think? Tell me down below in the comments and I'll see you all next time. Actually, that's too much. Put some back. And thank you once again for Scentbird for sponsoring this video. Go check them out. I guess we could show. I want this! No, no, no.